What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Sit Down Saturday. And I know what you're thinking. I know already you're thinking to yourself, that's the same outfit you wore last week. And you're correct. And the reason why is because I had already started this one last week before the Robot Paradise news hit. And then everybody wanted to know my opinion on that. So I wanted to get that done for everybody. And then I put this on the back burner. But I hadn't quite recorded the intro yet. So here it is. Here we are. Brought everybody up to date. Are you good? I'm good. Cool. So I can't really do a whole lot of cleanup or housekeeping today. And I'm sure there's plenty after the Starscream has kind of had a moment to marinate and the Robot paradise one i do want to bring in another point some people have suggested that perhaps the robot paradise might be indicative of them finally securing their own factory all i can say is i would like to hope that is true however i don't necessarily feel in my gut that that's the case but i would love to hear it so we're going to get into this kind of comparison between the takara starscream which you know i'm not fond of and the Mate Toy Starscream, which I think is good, but could be better. Keep in mind, the Mate Toy is from years ago. And also, when we get into presents, my kids are all sick with a cold. It's not COVID, but they've all got this, like, head cold. Probably from wearing a mask for the last year, their immune systems were probably all completely in the garbage. So they're all coughing and hacking all over everything. So I just was like, you know what? Let's not touch these figures. So they didn't do a feel, but they did do a look. Once again, I always try to be as objective as possible. However, it is very challenging, especially when you're talking about stuff that looks better. But I try to really be as fair as possible. However, some stuff is ultimately always going to come down to subjectivity. I hope you can understand. So let's get started and in order to start we'll start with accessories and honestly the Takara blows the doors off of the make toys here the Takara has a ton it has the flight stand it has five faces it has all the blast effects which I have mixed feelings about but it has it has the Megatron gun along with the that thing from that episode assortment whereas the make toys just has a couple extra faces it has the gimmick for the Megatron strangling thing which is pretty cool and then it has the Nori stuff it just does it differently than the Takara in that regard so almost everything the make toys has the Takara has and then the Takara has more as for materials and build, I'm sure you guys know how I'm gonna land here. The build on the Make Toys is far superior than the build on the Takara. And the materials feel better too, not just the die cast, but also the grade plastic. It just feels denser, it feels smoother, and the Takara uh, doesn't. Hardware wise, I suppose I have to give it to Takara because they just have more ratchets even though they're inconsistent and some work and some don't and blah 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 blah. But I guess if you had a perfect one, it would work properly and it would have the appropriate amount of hardware and therefore feel better in that regard. Whereas Make Toys, most of the stuff is tension. And to be honest with you, the tension stuff works better on the Make Toys and the hardware works on the Takara. But fair is fair, we're being objective, right? <sighs> Looking at them both from the front and I'm just gonna lean him back so that he'll stand. Um, looking at them both from the front, uh, you know, I, it's hard to say, man. Like, they both have issues. Like, I think that they both have the same big problem, and that is that the heads look weird on both. I feel like the Takara head looks too big, and I feel like the Make Toys head looks too small, and as a result, neither one of them look great in that regard, first impression-wise. I just I can't call that, because I have serious issues with both. Now, when we look at both heads in a vacuum, I think the Takara one is a clear standout. I think it's an overall a better proportion, better looking head. It's only when comparing them to the rest of the body that I feel like they both look out of place. So Takara is definitely taking it. From the profile, once again, it goes to Takara because the Make Toys is hidden behind most of the other stuff. You don't really get to see much of it where there's the head sculpt and the head itself is much more clearly defined on the Takara. As for the chest and abdomen area, it's really a mixed bag for me. Like, I think I'm gonna have to tie it out. I like the cockpit better on the Takara, but I like the kind of chest vents more on the make toys it feels more boisterous it feels more intimidating to me i also think that the flank on make toys is a little cleaner than that of the takara so i'm tying them out in that regard from the side i think it's a tie i don't think that any either one of them does it insanely better than the other the takara backpack looks messy so does the make toys the takara upper body looks a little busy and messy whereas the lower part of the make toys kind of like it's just like one does some things well one does some other things well but neither of them look bad to me that's a tie game so for 
the arm, I got to give it to Takara because it fills in that gap. And that gap has always been unsightly on the Make Toys. Even though there are things I like better about the Make Toys, I like the Null Ray better on the Make Toys. I like the elbow better on the Takara. I like the bicep better on the Make Toys. But overall, that gap in that forearm has always been such an issue. I have to give it to Takara here. Now, from the side, I think that Make Toys takes it. So I'm tying them out for arms because the Null Ray looks better. It hides most of the arm, whereas the Null Ray looks choppy because it has to do that transformation thing, which is cool, but transformation is a different category. This is about sculpt and paint. Looking at the pelvis, I think Make Toys does it better. It's cleaner, and I think the general shape works better. Now, from the side, I think Takara's looks better. So, once again, I'm tying them out. Takara's is cleaner, and those, like, peg-in flaps on the Make Toys have always been problematic. So, the legs, I think Takara's look better. I think the feet look more clearly defined. It doesn't have the same color breakup in regard to the base color coming through in the blue, whereas the Takara one is like cleaner all around. The Make Toys one has that like one little notch out. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. I do like the little extra sculpted detail though in the thighs of the Make Toys. I just don't think it's enough to take the category because of all the stuff they have on the side of their legs where the Takara one is uber clean. Uh, I'll be honest with you, from the side, I think it's kind of a tie game. I don't know, man. I kind of like the Make Toys one from the side. Like all the like spinning stuff on the Takara one, it is kind of off-putting to me in spite of how clean it is. It's like because because it's so clean, that becomes super obvious. Whereas the Make Toys one, because it's not super clean, it looks more purposeful in regard to having the extra wing there on the back. And it actually looks better as a heel to me. I don't know, this one's rough. I think I'm gonna tie them out for the side of the leg. I think that's what I'm comfortable with here. The back of them, I feel like they both are kind of a disaster, but the wing fillers. If Make Toys would have done the wing fillers, I'd have felt more comfortable giving them a tie. But since they didn't on initial release, which is what I'm comparing, I'm giving it to Takara here, but neither of them are going to make me call home and tell somebody about it. So Takara is going to take the paint category because it's completely painted, whereas the Make Toys has some parts that are painted and some parts that aren't. The parts that are painted, I actually prefer over the Takara paint, but Takara has painted the entire figure and needs credit for that. But in terms of sculpt, Takara also takes it because it takes it in the head category as well as the lower legs and the back, whereas they tie in the torso, arms, hips, and front. But Make Toys takes the thighs, which is the only category that Make Toys takes, and as a result, Takara takes both both paint and sculpt. Let's go through articulation. So the Make Toys head is on a ball peg. Nothing really up, a good bit down, a swivel, and a confused Make Toys look. Takara's is on a hinge connected to a ball peg connected to another hinge. So it's triple jointed, which gets you the head up and over to look all the way down. It can look all the way up. It can go side to side. It can give you a confused star scream look, etc. Make Toys shoulder is a universal. It gets you out to 90 degrees and 360 around until you hit the wing. Takara's shoulders, we already know. They go up all the way. They have a butterfly joint on a secondary hinge. Plus, on the initial universal, you get 90 degrees and 360 around until you hit the wing. Bicep swivel, bicep swivel. Double jointed elbow for the full range, pretty much, a little shy of it. Double jointed elbow for the full range, but the joint is not really at the elbow and breaks up the mold of the bicep. It's actually a bicep elbow hinge. So I'm gonna tie them out here for that because if you're just using the proper elbow hinge, you would get just shy, like just over 90 degrees. So I'm gonna tie them out because I feel like that's the only fair way to do it. Wrist swivel, hinge up down slightly, Fingers are on a base pin knuckle with the index finger individually articulated. Wrist swivel, hinge in, out, and the fingers are all individually articulated at primary and secondary hinge, including the thumb. Waist swivel, nothing. Ab crunch over to 90 degrees and reverse ab crunch. Ab crunch to about 45 degrees. Universals for hips that get you out for the full Van Dam, forward and back for the full Monty. Same engineering with universals that get you out for the full Van Dam. Not quite the full Monty, but close enough where we get you everything you'd ever need, so I'm gonna tie them out for it. Thigh swivel, thigh swivel. Single hinge knee that gets you 90 degrees. Single hinge knee that gets you past 90 degrees. Toe tilt that acts as an ankle tilt for an ankle tilt up and down with a rocker. And it's ratcheted so it'll hold its position. Ankle tilt up, a little bit down, and a rocker uh, loose as a goose. 
As for articulation, they tie at the bicep because they both swivel. They tie at the hips because I gave Takara leniency. Even though it doesn't have as wide a range, it has all of the useful range. Now in turn, I didn't give them the same leniency with the elbow, but we'll talk about that here in a second. The thighs, they both tie for the swivel. The ankles, they both tie, although I really want to give it to Make Toys because their ankles hold position. Make Toys takes the elbow because I was lenient in the other category. I decided to be fair and give Make Toys the point for the elbow because the range is greater at the actual elbow joint and they don't need to cheat their way around it. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it is what it is. Also, the torso works better, both for the ab crunch and the waist swivel. But Takara takes the head and shoulders like it has dandruff, as well as the wrist, hands, and knees. I'll be honest, Takara did better here than I expected them to do prior to doing this comparison. Scale wise, according to the Sumbo chart, his head should come up to about his shoulder. So the Takara one is better scaled. And while we're on the topic, it's obviously a better cartoon translation as well. In regard to the transformation, I got news for you. None of these guys were a walk in the park. The big struggle with the Make Toys one was the same struggle with the Takara one, which is how they handle all the cockpit and kind of mass shifting in regard to the jet. Now, Make Toys extends everything, which gives it a more narrow profile, but it has that C-clip piece that always came undone, and there was like pieces that would like not move around nicely, stuff squeaked and squawked like an angry parrot. And the Takara one just is kind of clumsy and doofy in the upper body, but kind of gets the lower body in a smooth manner. But the Make Toys kind of handles the lower body in a smooth manner as well. So I don't think there's a clear standout winner between these two. I'm, I'm much more comfortable tying them out here. And then in regard to the alt mode, this is where I think Make Toys has the really strong standout. Their jet is sleeker, it looks more menacing, it looks more dangerous. The only issue I have with it are the rear wings that sit out to the side with that little bump out. But aside from that, this looks like Starscream flying down to shoot at Springer and RC in the Transformers 86 movie. This is, in my opinion, the best alt mode set ever done. It's just sleeker, it's more streamlined, it looks more like a jet. Whereas the Takara looks good, but it also has that kind of infamous problem that plagues Transformers where the jet kind of houses the robot body underneath it instead of it looking like a proper jet body, it ends up looking like a box being carried underneath a jet. They both have beautiful paint echoes in regards to how the jets look, but I gotta give it to Make Toys here. It's just too strong. So, which one do you think looks better? That one. All right, pick it up, manipulate the joints a bit. Yeah, I still think I like this one better. You like the feel of this one better? Huh? You like the feel of this one better I as well? I think I like everything about that one better. Jana, which one do you think looks better? That one. Okay. Which one do you think looks better? I think that one looks better. This one over here? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I'm not going to have you pick them up because everybody's sick, okay? But thank you. Okay. And the baby's currently taking a nap, but since everybody voted for this one, it doesn't really matter what the baby says, although I would have liked to have had her on here. Which brings us to our final scores, and ironically, they only tie in two categories. Transformation, because neither of them are really a walk in the park, and also gimmicks, because the Takara one has the kind of chest missile thing, and the Make Toys one can do the kind of strangling star scream thing. I can understand that you view that more as an accessory than as a gimmick, or whatever the case may be. I wouldn't hold you to it if you wanted to dispute that fact, but as how I felt it could be the most fair. Other than that, Make Toys takes build and materials for obvious reasons. They also take the alt mode, presence, and price. And Takara sweeps up the rest with accessories because it has far more hardware because it's there, although I was really reluctant to give them the point for that, being as though mine is pretty much useless. Articulation, which was so somewhat surprising to me, sculpt and paint, and scale, as well as accuracy, which is kind of a no-brainer. Which brings us to a grand total of... 7-5 Takara, giving Takara the win, even though I much prefer the Make Toys. And that's why I do think that while there is some subjectivity, obviously, that goes along with these things, like I do feel like it's pretty objective. Because this is a figure that's, in my opinion, very inferior to another, but it won. So something to be said for that, I think. So that's that, 7-5. And, you know, and that's not too bad of a score for a figure that's much older than the other one and doesn't have the resources and also has some kind of blatant issues with it. I think it goes to show you a little bit about the other, but neither here nor there. It was an interesting comparison, very worthwhile for me to do to kind of go through the process and really take a critical look at both. It's funny because a lot of the things about the Takara I appreciate isolated, but when I see it all together, 
It's just not for me. But maybe it's for you. And if it's for you, you win. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.